what's up? Um, we're gonna do a storing photo cards video. We have a lot of the usual suspects, that being like Straight Kids, Red Velvet, Stacy. Um, this is a lot of cards. I wanna say that we have like over a hundred cards. <laughs> um, and it's not even all the photo cards that I brought with me to store. Um, and that's just what happens when you don't store photo cards for half a year because your binders are at your parents' house and not with you. <laughs> I'm super sorry for the angle ahead of time. I know that I can't see half my screen right now um, because I didn't bring my tripod like I thought I was going to, like I was supposed to, really. Um, I don't have a lot of time because we're about to go out to dinner. All right, I legitimately have one card for this binder. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, you might not know that I downsized my BTS collection. I no longer collect OT7 fully. I do some OT7 sets, um, but then mostly I've just been working on finishing my top three. So I collect Tay, Jin, and then obviously Hobie. Um, but I have one singular card, and it is Tay's, um, what is this? Proof compact photo card that I traded with my friend. Um, for when we want to see Stray Kids. So he's gonna go right here in the middle. And then I have Jin's on the way, I think. And then I have Jin's proof, like standard, like random card. And then Hobie's proof, like standard, what's it called? Like the not random card, like the one that you got as a set, um, which I didn't buy proof because it was $70. I really need to make covers for all of my binders. I have legitimately so many. That was my bottle of allergy medication. I legitimately have so many extra albums um, that I need to make. This is as good as it's getting. Um, but yeah, I need to make binder covers. But I have the last two Sigon cards that I needed for his album collection leading up to Face the Sun. Um, so I have coveted Spongebob Boys B card and I don't have the vocal unit photo card, but I need that. But then also I have his teenage white card, which was a pain in the butt to get. I actually bought this card from somebody off Twitter a really long time ago and they said they sent it but never sent me any proof or anything like that. Um, thankfully I was able to get a refund for it but I bought it for like 10 bucks. I was really sad that I had to pay more than that. Um, but yeah, so one is his album collection is done up until Face the Sun which I'm pretty sure I'm done with but I don't have all the cards on hand for. Um, and then I'm working on so soon, but that's like a special case. Let's do red velvet next. I have quite a bit for red velvet. First card that we have is Irene's the velvet card. And then we have I have both of her rookie cards on the way um, and this last Solgi rookie card. So those should be done soon. Um, but the next cards we have are for Not Summer Magic, The Red Summer. So I have both Joy and Yeti sets. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do this. I'm just going to put my favorites in the front. And then I have this last one to go on the way, I think. Next, you get two. Perfect velvet. Perfect velvet. Perfect velvet. Okay, so I have this Yeti card. And you're lying. I didn't know I owned this already. Cool. I double traded for her or double bought her. Well, that's something. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's upsetting. Okay. Then we have Perfect Red Velvet. 
which I am, am I completing? Yes. Yes, I am because I have both of these cards. Oh my God. Perfect front velvet is complete. That's beautiful. And then for Summer Magic, I have two cards, none of which are the limiteds, um, but I have Joy's regular card and her clear card. I wasn't sure if I, like, as I was trying to buy the rest of these clear cards, um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to collect all of them, but I decided I'm going to do it. We have four RBV cards. What are we going to do here? Let's do a Solgi. Just because she matches the yellow in Wendy's shirt, like their shirts match. And then this Irene, I'm going to put up here for now, even though her other card is like one of my favorite cards ever. Um, it's the one where she looks like she is a bride who just murdered her husband. Um, and then we have Joy, Wendy, and Yeti for the second page. So two more cards and then this set is complete. Okay, and then I'm going to have to figure out what's what with these Reve Festival cards. Okay, so these are guidebook. And then these are day one cards. So for guidebook, I have Silgi. Joy. And Yeti. So we're just missing Irene for this set. And then for day two, we have both of Yeti's cards and then one Wendy. So put that Wendy there. Put, I'm gonna do this Yeti here. She'll go in the pocket. <laughs> and then this other Yeti on the second page. I guess I don't have any cards for the other members for their second day one set. I'm losing my train of thought, I'm sorry. Okay, and then move on to day two. So these are the day two cards that I have. I wanna say, okay, so these are guidebook and then these are all day two. So for the guidebook version, I have Joy, which is an iconic card. Okay, so we're also just missing Irene for this. <laughs> um, and then I have, let's do, oh, actually I already have that Yeti, so let's do Pink Cowboy Hat Joy, who, this is one of my favorite Joy cards. And, yeah, so same deal. Actually, gonna switch it so that this Wendy is on the front page to really just slid that Yeti all the way across my desk um just because then the pink matches and then so we'll move this Wendy back here to this Joy and this Yeti this card is so funny to me, I love it. For Finale, basically, I understand that Finale has like sets where some are scrapbook and then some are the Finale version. However, the backs are identical and I do feel like some of the sets match better when you like intermix the versions. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Is my camera shaking? A little bit, I'm super sorry for that. Um, Let's do... I'm gonna put all of my favorite cards on one page. When I eventually get uh, Irene's like sewing card, she's gonna go right there too. And we'll do this Yeti right here. Um, I have this Joy. Oh, I didn't realize I had this one, do you? Great, I can mark that off my list and not 
double trade for her like I did with the other one. <laughs> um, and then I'll put this Yeti right here. Yeti's cards are all like in this outfit, which is something. <laughs> is this... Okay, we'll do this one here. And I'll move this one here. Move this in green. I'll move it to here for now just so like I can keep a count of what I do have and don't have um, so, yeah and then I have this last Yeti on the way to me and then this joy is like one of the last cards I need for her I think I'm missing like three joy cards oh also I feel like I should mention I am only storing the things in this video that I have enough pages for or that I've already set up for because I don't have any nine pocket pages and I called around to like probably four different stores today asking if they carry the platinum ultra pro pages and everyone said no <laughs> also this dude tried to tell me that the platinum pages and the silver pages were the same when they are absolutely not but the last like album that we're storing is Feel My Rhythm. And so we have the Red Way and the Oracle version. So do do these three. So I'm completing this. Or completing this page at least. I hate putting things on the top pockets. But there's that. And then Let's do this joy. And this Irene and this Sulky. Again, I'll move things around as I get the last cards that I'm missing. But for now, these are where this is where everything's gonna go. And then I thought I had this one D. But I guess not, so that makes up for the one day that I thought I didn't have, but then did have. Um, but I have this joy. So I'm just missing these three cards. These two, of course, are impossible to find. Um, it's crazy because I've seen this Irene card, um, like the one where she's in her like pink dress, which is a beautiful card. I've seen it go for more than the Mumo Pob, which is insane. And then last few things that I'm storing for Red Velvet are some SMCU cards, um, which I don't have a great place to store. For now, I'm going to move these two pre-order benefits down and then I will like re-evaluate once I get, um, what I'm looking for. Once I get my birthday pre-order benefits in, I will re like, I'll move everything. Um, but this is her, this is Yeti's guest pass version, membership version or something like that. It's the one that came in like a file basically. Um, and then, so I got her ID because you can see who it is through the front of it. But then I pulled Irene's um, card and because there's like five total cards and I want this to be a complete page I'm gonna keep it and just put it right here and then eventually when I get Yetis I'm gonna move it right here but for now I will put the guest book version here don't ask me about the SMCU versions when I have this card I just bought it but I don't know where I put it but I'll store it eventually <laughs> Next, let's do Stray Kids. The way that my Stray Kids collection works is that I have two album binders. Um, this one has from mixtape through In Life, and the second one so far is holding No Easy through Maxident. Um, and then I have a literal absurd amount, uh, amount of non-album um, for them. <laughs> But we are storing the last few. That's Jungin's mixtape behind card. I have this card and I guess I just didn't bring it with me. 
<laughs> which is upsetting. Um, and then I have Jungin's mixtape, not mixtape, I am not baby card. <laughs> this pisses me off because I thought we were going to be done with this binder today, or at least not done with the not unit stuff in the binder. Um, and then I have one unit card for this, which is the Felix Sungman Jongin binder, or not binder, unit. Oh. This one. So I split these up into like ones that are vertical and then ones that are horizontal. Um, and then I have the hemline for the I am who behind cards. So I have Chan, Mino, and Tangbin. I love that page. And then the rest of the rest of IMU is I'm who is complete. And then IMU has been done for a while. And I have one unit card for IMU. So this is the, how did I do these? Oh, Jongbin. <laughs> I, was, I was like, how did I do these? So this is the Jongbin card. Um, so yeah, Mi IMU has 27 unit cards and I am woefully behind on them. But that's okay. Okay, and then I don't have these in order because of course not. But that is Sungmin's Miro, Clay One Miro card. That page is complete. And then I need Sungmin's Black Border card. Just complete and then Sungmin's red border. Sungmin's red border card. <laughs> and then the last two cards on here I already have this card. Okay. And then I know I have this card. Uh but again I guess I just thought I'd had it already and then didn't bring it with me. Which is my fault. But there's that. And then I have this G-Sung. These cards, I have an extra of Sungmin's. So if anybody has Tongmin, uh, G-Sung, or Felix and wants to trade me, please let me know. <laughs> uh, Yellowwood. We have two cards to put over. Hold on. Hold on now. I already have this card. All right, so yellow wood, I have two cards to put away. And and it is these like impossible to find Minsung outdoor cards. This Mino is beautiful. I love him. One of his best cards. Okay. And then I think that's it for this binder. Yeah, it is. So everything else is done. Um, so everything, the only things that are left to go into this binder are those last two G Sung cards that I know I own, but didn't bring with me. And then the units, which I'm working on. I think I have like 30 more units to buy. So there's that. Um, but yeah, let's do the second Stray Kids binder. So then we move on to Christmas Evil, which should be complete, but might be a mess. So. Glitter cards, I don't need any. Okay, so. I don't need those two cards. <laughs> um, but I have this Mino. This way it's labeled amount. I have this Mino. Uh, 
that's done. And then I have boom. Okay. I was missing less cards than I thought I was missing. So I overbought, which is the story of my life so far, apparently. Christmas Evil is done. And then the last card that is going into this binder is for Maxident. And it is the only jewel case card that I didn't pull, which was Drongen's jewel case pre-order benefit. So there we go. And that means that we are officially caught up just in time for Stray Kids to probably have a comeback like either next month or the month after. Um, okay, so let me do, so the last binder is going to be one of Stacy, Billy, and Itzy. So I wanted to start with one us, but honestly, I actually, what I really want to do is move one us so that this album is alphabetical. So they're going to go behind my Chaeryeong collection, but in front of my Stacy collection. I've done this before, but I'm going to replay it. Put the, the divider. Again, I have to make covers for like everything. Um, but we start with Billy. So I have, and for Billy, I literally have a singular popping suit card. I just finished, um, like I just secured the last cards that I needed for the Village of Perception chapter three, which I haven't set up for. Um, and now I'm also missing like seven popping suit cards or something like that. And of course all of them are Suki and there's two Suwa cards that I'm missing. Um, but most of my things are at Poker Market, which is why there's nothing in this binder or there's nothing in the section. Um, but I have Xiyun's crown card. So she's gonna go right there. So I have something on <laughs> at least every popping suit page and I have Xiyun complete, which is nice. But yeah, there's that. And then Itzy, I'm completing Treasure. I freaking love collecting Chaeyoung. I love collecting Itzy because it doesn't ever give me too much trouble. I don't collect any of her like special cards, um, which I feel like benefits me. I don't do any limited versions or anything like that. Um, okay, so this is her like, I can't remember what they called this, like her special card, her alter ego card. It was something like that. Um, and then I also got her lenticular in one of the sets that I bought. So I'm just going to stick that in the middle so that it's double sided. Um, and then I'm going to do unit cards. Do I do unit cards in the corners? I do unit cards in the corners. I, yeah, I love collecting Itzy. I find it to be like one of my lowest stress collections. Um, I honestly would love to collect another member of Itzy. I think I really want to collect Yeji, but I would love to collect like a quote unquote top three, but I don't have an Itzy top three, um, which is like what makes me Kind of apprehensive so I'm thinking what I might do is collect all of Yeji's cards and then per era decide who my third member is going to be so that I'm collecting different members because I also feel like depending on the area or area era some member cards slightly harder than others oh, I love that this is perfect this is exactly what I envisioned perfect last two stacks are one Us and Stacy, and then most of One Us is my Hwanung collection, which I bought off of a friend. Um, how am I doing this? Oh, 
like this. Okay. So. So yeah, my friend decided to drop the tea collecting on us. So I was like, please let me buy all of your Hanum so that I can be done. So this is uh, Lightus. Lightus? I'm really bad at names. Um, this is Fly, Fly, Raise Us? Raise Us. Fly with us, question mark. How am I doing this? So back that card will go right here. And this card will go. I hate that. I hate that actually because his, so Connie and Leto have this like door behind them um, in their white back cards, yeah. And then Hanung doesn't, so they swap concepts. Are we serious? That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. Why would they do that? RBW, let's talk about it. Okay. And then we have In It's Time. Again, I'm gonna have to reference the backs. Okay. Um, so these are Connie and Lido's In It's Time MMT cards. I got these at a really good price. Um, I've seen Honung's a couple of times and I would like to get it, um, just so I can have this be a really pretty nine pocket page. Also, their MMTs for this era were gorgeous. If you can ever find them at a good price, I would 100% recommend snatching them up. Okay, and then we have the album that I debate the name of because some people will say lived and some people will well I say lived and then some people will say lived um which I mean that's something yeah so red version and the white version this card is so beautiful And then we have Devil, where's my... Hmm. I have this Leto somewhere. I don't know where he is, but I have him somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so pretty when it's done. And then we get into binary code. The colorful version, I think this is like the one version and then the zero version where they're wearing their black mirror outfits. And then we get into blood moon, which I'm gonna have to reference how I did this. Okay. This version down here. The Wanos Theater Life is Beautiful cards down here. Ugh. And these right here from the Luna music video. Oh my god. Ugh, that's gorgeous. Ugh. I might make these into spreads um, eventually. I'll have to see how I feel. Uh, okay. And then the other three Blood Moon cards. This is when they started going crazy with photo cards. Um, this one right here. This one right here, which is from the Shut Up Crazy Hot music video. And this one, which, what a beautiful trio of cards. <laughs> I got to see one of us um, uh, back in January when they were doing their second, I was going to say second US tour, but it was technically a world tour that they did. Um, and they were amazing. This was my second time seeing them. And I just, I love them so much. I, that's a Malice card. So these are <laughs> the Trickster cards. Trickster? Trickster cards. 
beautiful. And did I do? I don't know which ones of these are jewel case and which ones are photo book, but this is one of my favorite Coney cards ever. Trickster is complete. And then we had into Malice, which confuses the ever living shit out of me. I do have Malice technically complete. All of the cards are secure. They're just not with me because of course, why would they be? Um, and then they just announced a comeback, which has a similar number of photo cards. I think it has less cards technically because they haven't announced, have they announced a platform version? Yeah, they did. So yeah, it has less photo cards. Um, and then technically Malice had 10 photo cards because there was also like that special PVC card, which I pulled Leto, but I'm not going to collect my top three, four because I hate PVC photo cards. How are we doing this? Okay. Sure. We're just gonna fill in the blanks here. I don't think this is right, but we're just doing what we can. <laughs> um, oh, so these are, that's an, oh, okay. I should be looking at a template. Am I going to, no. So this is his other Eden version photo card, which makes this a Coney Eden version photo card. And then, do I have these? I do, I have both of them. So these are their not Eden version photo cards, but the ones where you've got like two out of six members. And then... Okay, so then this has to be his other main version photo card. Yeah, because I don't have this back and I don't have this back. Right? That's all the same thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm confusing myself a lot. Um... But yeah, so Hanum is almost done, like, being stored. Again, I have everything secured. They're just not on hand. And then, again, I am out of nine pockets, so I can't set up for Pygmalion. Then pivoting away from that, we have Stacy, which I have a buttload of cards for OT6. Um, I have this zoom in and this, so I did spreads for Stacy. Um, and... We're just gonna see where this takes us. So I have the Suman and the Shiyun secured. They're just not on hand. And then, so this Isa is gonna go down here. And this Yoon is gonna go. Why did I do this? I switched Yoon and Sayun for the first page. I have her glasses card secured and on the way. I did overpay for it, but I will take that for peace of mind of not having to look for it anymore. Okay, so this page is almost complete. Then we move on to stereotype. So I did the cheerleader cards and then so these are the special cards. These white cards and then these are black card cards. Do I know how I did this? Absolutely not. So we're just gonna <laughs> figure this out as we go. So this zoom in goes right here. This ISO goes right here and then I'm pretty sure this Yoon goes right here and I'm gonna say that this Shiyun goes right here I could be completely wrong yeah I am wrong 
There she go. 